a giant version of myself is behind me. So <laughs> thank you so much, Carl. I really appreciate your kind words. A current 49ers running back lived out of his car and shelters with his mom and three brothers growing up. Every morning, his mother said to him, today is going to be better than yesterday if we make it so. Never give up and no excuses. Each day, as he takes the field for practice or for a game, he repeats the mantra to himself. I've heard him say it out loud, and he shares it with his teammates. Never give up and never give excuses. He credits the kindness of others and their willingness to take his family from the cold with helping him believe his mother's words. Without others supporting those words, they would have seemed empty. His effusive positivism is an inspiration to his teammates and to all of us who have the great joy of knowing him. A 49ers alumnus was in shock when he took his first post-football job. He had been making $10,000 a week as a professional football player, but an injury left him unable to play. His first paycheck in the real world? $1,000 for two weeks of work. He told me he thought the decimal point was in the wrong place. But seriously, he, did, he went to the payroll person and said, I think this is incorrect. He thought that this was not how he should be valued and what his self-worth was because nobody had ever told him otherwise. A few years later, he found himself unsheltered and battling addiction, depressed and unable to function fully. With the help of a shelter similar to Envision, he built himself back up. He shares his story openly today with others in hopes of enabling them to realize that they are not alone and that they can too ask for help, something that was certainly not ingrained in him as a professional football player. He tells them even a, super, even a Super Bowl champion can find himself living the high life one day and living in his car the next. The 49ers Foundation, as Carl mentioned, is to keep kids safe on track and in school. Envision Shelter Network is the first point of contact for many of those elements. Together, we have found a way to help work to fulfill both of our missions. Each year, the 49ers are honored to be able to partner with Envision to host an event, to share the stories of our players, and to remind each other that we're all just one step, one job, or one medical issue away from economic instability. This past season, we had a really fun event. We went over to First Step for Families in San Mateo, and we hosted a Kinder's barbecue and board game tournament along with some crafts with lots of glitter. As the residents arrived with broad smiles, they were greeted by enthusiastic 49ers alumni and front office staff, eager to provide them with a great meal, conversation as in the afternoon off from their daily challenges. Dwight Clark served up ribs and ate a few himself. Dennis Brown won and lost a fair number of games of Connect Four. He insisted he let the five-year-old win, but none of us really believed that. Um, <laughs> He kept challenging that five-year-old over and over and over. Steve Bono added copious amounts of glitter to a Thanksgiving decoration. I can honestly say I never expected to see a former 49ers quarterback literally covered in glitter. He told me it took two weeks to get it out of his curly hair. Uh, these were memories of a lifetime. But what struck all of us were the stories of the people we met that day, stories similar to Katie's. People who had fallen on hard times, who had been self-sufficient until an insurmountable obstacle obstructed their path. This was something that football players could relate to, except this was real life. We found that we had so much in common and we, connect, we connected on diverse topics. Raising children, favorite foods, looking for a job, interviewing, and dealing with the stressors of everyday life. I overheard one of our alumni players talking about how he felt when he was cut from his first team and relating it back to how it feels to be let go from a job. The instability, the insecurity you feel, and the knock to your sense of self-worth. There was one story that struck all of us. There was an adorable young family with a six-month-old baby. They'd been living in a townhome, enjoying a fairly typical middle-class lifestyle when the baby was born. The mother had chosen to stay at home with the child, and then her husband was laid off. A few months later, they found themselves at first step for families. But what they told us was that when they got there, they didn't realize, as Katie shared, that they would see their faces and their stories in these families who may have looked so dissimilar to them. And they also came in with their own biases. 
But the thing that struck us and that we talked about after was that we were interacting with this family thinking that they were volunteers along with us. They looked no different from anybody else in the room and they carried themselves no differently from anybody else in the room. But once we dove in and we learned more, we immediately embraced them and found that there were these commonalities. Our team photographer was asked by them to take a family photo. They had never had a family photo with their child. That, that moment moved him because his role usually is to take these, capture these moments on the field. He stands on the sidelines, he captures Vernon Davis running in for a touchdown. He blows that up for Vernon Davis. Vernon has it hanging on his wall. This was a special moment for this family as well and our team photographer was really excited to be able to provide it for them. The 49ers, as I said, are honored to be able to support Envision Shelter Network and the tremendous work that they do to allow people the stability they need to regain their self-sufficiency in an environment that promotes self-respect, self-awareness, and self-reliance. Like our 49ers running back, they learn to repeat the mantra, today is going to be better than yesterday if we can make it so. Never give up and never give excuses. On behalf of the 49ers Foundation, I stand here today to ask you to join us. Join us in supporting those in need. Now you may have seen these cards on your table. Everybody hold up your cards. This is your morning exercise. I've got my Fitbit on. I think I get one point for this. So hold it up. Great. Okay. Your gift is critical this year because your donation will be doubled thanks to the generous two-to-one matching grant from the Sobrato Family Foundation. Sobratos are amazing. And I say this not only because Mr. Sobrato and his family have a small interest in the 49ers, but also because they have a tremendous interest in incorporating their philanthropic work into our community. This means if you donate $1,000 today, the Sobratos are going to match that with a $2,000 grant to Envision Shelter Network. So take a look here. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. They've asked me to tell you how to fill this card out, but I'm gonna bet that everybody in this room knows what a pencil or a pen is and knows how to check a box. So we're gonna leave that to you, but what I would say is if you could take a moment right now and I'm gonna stand here and look at you and make you feel a little uncomfortable, hoping that you're gonna put these cards up and fill them out right now, let's take a minute or two to actually do that. So everybody grab those pencils or pens, grab your cards. Let's see if we can get some uh, funds for Envision right now.